Hi guys, I'm Buck Weezer and I'm welcome, welcoming you to another video with Buck's small engine DIY. We're putting the do into do it yourself. And I'm here with the John Deere lawn tractor. It is the D125. And it's got a 20 horsepower twin V twin Briggs and Stratton engine. The date code on that engine is uh, uh, 2016. So it's about five years, five what six seven I don't know not not that old interestingly you know when I look over here I don't know if you can even see that is that the hour meter 37 hours is that all it does look to be in very good shape and uh, <clears throat> we're trying to resolve today a no start situation it doesn't it doesn't start and uh, so try to figure out why and I'm gonna start course I started by removing the hood but what I want to do now is just take a check out that battery um, would like to see what kind of voltage it's reading as an opening consideration so let's see volts positive negative 12.69 volts. I would say that's a fully charged battery. I don't think the battery is going to be the problem. I don't know if it's an original battery, but you got a battery reading 12.6, 12.7 volts. That's about as good as you can get. Um, so, what's our next step? I, um, I don't have a wiring diagram, but these circuits are generally fuse protected. So let's pull out this 20 amp fuse. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or if it'll focus for you, but that looks like it's blown to me. We should confirm that with the uh, continuity tester. So, on continuity, turn it on, you get a beep. So let's, let's see if this fuse is good or not. It's not. We don't have any continuity. So this fuse is blown. So we got our first uh, smoking gun. It's a blown fuse. Good battery but blown fuse. Now a blown fuse is not a diagnosis because you got to ask the question why is the fuse blown? Is there a short somewhere? Something go wrong somewhere? So that's what we need to consider. I, uh, I don't see anything uh, particularly amiss. Like I said, the tractor looks really clean doesn't appear to get that much use. I don't see any nothing's grabbing my attention here. Um, you know we can put a new fuse in it and see if it'll fire up um, or if it'll blow the fuse again. But generally if a fuse blows that's because there is a problem somewhere and I can't just throw a fuse back in it and say the problem's fixed. The fuse is protecting us, protecting our electrical system and that's why it blew. Something else is going on. Alright guys, I took the hood off just to move it out of our way and uh, doing that I unplugged the uh, connector for the headlights and looking at that more closely, I think possibly we may have found a culprit for our blown fuse. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but this, this is melted and we're right close to the hot muffler. So it's probably not hard to see what happened here. So this is melted and then 
maybe the insulation on these wires also melted and shorted out here on our lights. Now these light headlights are on as soon as you turn the key to run. So just turning the key to run, if this is melted, would would blow that fuse, I think. And uh, these two wires are like melted together. Insulation is melted here on this yellow wire. So I'm thinking there's a very good chance that we've found the problem here. Insulation is off this black wire. So I think what we need to do is cut these back and redo these connections. Get ourselves a new 20 amp fuse. Put it all back together and we're probably going to have our problem solved. I think probably what I also ought to do is... You know, if that's the issue, I, I need to maybe drill a hole here some for a strap just to keep this away from the muffler because that's, that's probably what happened. All right, let's go ahead and fix that. And I think, I think we figured out what's going on here. All right, so let's, let's cut this uh, loom back. So we're definitely clear of the, pull that back, and we'll trim off the melted part. And you can see our wires are melted together. This is definitely where the problem had to have been, and the reason for the blown fuse and the no start. So let's just cut this out. And I'll use these crimp and shrink connectors. All right, I, uh, before I wrap it all up, I did replace the 20 amp fuse that was blown and turned the key to run position. So I wanna see if we got voltage here for the headlights. There we go. So we got a good connection. We can go ahead and button it all up. Uh, got the... Uh, Electrical tape here. Just gonna give this a few wraps. And tuck this back in. a few wraps with the tape and that's some of this it's a little thicker but I'm gonna put some of that on just as a extra measure of security loops of tape on this guy All right, so like I said, I want to preclude the possibility of this happening again. And I think I'm I'm going to drill a small hole here. This is just a plastic hood mounting thing. And then we can put a uh, zip tie through there.
and we just want to make sure we can keep this out of the way of the muffler. Because that was our problem from the get-go. So that should definitely serve to prevent that from ever happening again. All right, I think we're done here. Let's put the hood back on. We'll plug in the headlights and see if this guy wants to fire up for us. Alright, there we go. It's back and running. That was an easy one. Uh, I'm not thrilled with the hood latch on, on this tractor. It it's, looks like a kind of poor design with a plastic hinge. That may have contributed to our wires uh, moving around and getting too close to the muffler. But that's exactly what has happened. That's what blew the fuse and it was an easy fix. I'm going to do some other maintenance on this machine while it's here and uh, but that's it for today's repair uh, getting the D125 back up and running I would love to hear your thoughts your comments and your questions in the discussion below thanks for watching and I will look forward to seeing you on our next video bye bye